Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, for Hunger Minecraft, this is Peter, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really good, effective diamond. If for if you're playing multiplayer, a diamond like hider, a diamond hider like a diamond, you know. Anyways, right now I have the Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 6, and there's like a there's a door glitch. I was gonna have a wooden door put in with pressure plates activated, but it didn't work, so I just have it hidden like that with the box right here that I can pull an iron or an iron uh, axe out of, so that I can go down the hallway to the actual room with the chest. Anyways, that just has the door that I'm going to use. My diamonds are in my old one right now. And I just made this one so I can show you guys how to make one. Anyways, this is how I make my diamond strongholds. I have a nice big underground open area like this with water pool right there. I'm going to fill this area back in real quick. I put those two things, those two torches there to mark it until the full version comes out so then I can update it. Anyways, this is how I do it. I have this nice big open pool coming into a nice open area. Uh, eventually I'm going to put some pictures up on the walls, hide the door behind the picture, hide the chest behind the picture, and then behind the chest, I'll dig this out real quick, down there there's uh, an unlimited water spawner. Don't know if you can see it once I delete this brick, but there's an unlimited water spawner down there. That's what I use to uh, fill in fill in the thing so I didn't have to keep going up and down with buckets. Anyways, this is how I did it. I dug out a bunch and then just made a nice outline with the uh, wood planks. Here also I and down this thing into down this like shaft into the place. I dug out three wide and three tall and then kind of filled it in with planks so it just looked good. And then once you get back in there, I dug it out. I think a three by four by four open with cobblestone on the floor and cobblestone all over the walls just so it looks all nice. Ah, uh, okay, then once you go into the pool, it'll go down, you can get some air, right here, I made it like this, and you can just go up the water elevator, that you used to uh, go down, this might take a little bit, because the water is so slow, and then when you, while you're building, dig straight down this, then let the water come down, then dig a shaft next to it, like I have here so that you can have air as you're going up and then have it end so that when people are walking around the surface they don't see that there's a hole there and uh... so there needs to be a hole there so basically this is how I do mine uh... I put just kinda near water so that it looked pretty normal five wide of water spawns and then I just dug down that water shaft that you saw me go down earlier and then I have the pool so that you float up and then the hidden entryway into the diamond stronghold. This is mostly useful when you're uh, playing on multiplayer with a bunch of other people and you want to hide your diamonds from them. Here I made an island out of sand to disguise. This is my current one that I put all my valuables in. And I just have a stair going down. And then you would look around here and you see all the cobblestone and you'd think that I have it hidden behind the mud or the dirt. That's just a disguise. I really have it hidden down in that brick right there. That's another way you can do it. I like doing it that way. Anyways, I'm just going to put some of my, all 30 of my diamonds and then all my obsidian and my gold down there for now. Some lapis, some redstone, a stack of iron. So that's what I'm going to put down there for now, and then I'll just cover this back up with cobblestone. So anyways, I'm going to go back up while it's becoming nighttime. Come back up till I'm above the ladder, and this is what ladders go for. You can stand on top of them, and I have time to switch to my sand, and I can just jump place them so that it's like that. Nice and neat. Anyway, so, so when you go down into the diamond shaft like I do you can either just go down the elevator or I like falling just because it's faster you swim into your area and then swim up alright um... I'm gonna need this 
And then you should have your door with the picture covering it right here and then I right have a picture over there and maybe a picture up there, maybe a picture on either wall just to kind of disguise the fact that there's a door behind this picture. Go back into your area, open up the chest, and place whatever you want to place in there. I'm just going to put a bunch of random stuff in there. I'm going to put my important stuff in there and a bunch of random stuff. I'll put a bucket in there and some sapling. Anyway, so there's uh all my stuff. And now when I play on... This is on my solo world. It would just be easier for me to make this on solo. I have one on multiplayer already. And I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. And this is a really useful way to hide your diamonds from people. Because I was on a friend's server and he had 37 diamonds. And they got... um They got stolen. So, because it was uh, too obvious of a hiding spot that he put him in, he made kind of an underground thing like this, but he didn't make it with water, he made a ladder, and he made the entrance kind of obvious. You could see it easily, and that made it pretty easy to spot. All otherwise, if you're scared of people finding this, because they might have like a clear water mod, I know some people have like really weird mods, you can cover that middle block up with dirt so that you, when you walk by, you have to destroy the dirt, and then the water will flow down, and then it can go down. So yeah, this has been a uh, Let's Play Minecraft Homegrown Minecraft tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.